Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to be comparing my S23 Ultra and my S24 Ultra. But just a disclaimer guys, I'm not professional so I won't be diving into deeper specifications of the phones nor numbers or benchmarks. So everything that I'll be sharing with you guys in today's videos are merely... Um, based on my honest opinion on both phones. So without further ado, let's start on the video. So the first thing that we'll be comparing is the weight. Um, on the internet, guys, it says that the S23 Ultra weighs around 233 grams, while the S24 Ultra weighs around 234 grams. So it's not really a huge difference between the two. But right now, I have a screen protector on my S24 Ultra. Just so you know, I have a like hydrogel screen protector, so it's not a glass. So let's now weigh in our S23 Ultra, and this one weighs around 233, which is right on the internet. Um, now let's weigh in the S24 Ultra. So this one weighs around 236. So this is 2 grams more than what it says on the internet, maybe because of the screen protector that I have. So now let's talk about the body. So the S24 Ultra has a titanium frame while the S23 Ultra has an aluminum frame. But honestly, if you have dry hands like mine, I can say that um, you will have a better grip on the S23 Ultra's frame since this one is a little bit glossy compared to the matte texture of the S24 Ultra. The only problem I have when it comes to the glossy texture of the frame on the S23 Ultra is that smudges and fingerprints can easily leave a mark on the phone and sometimes some adhesive sticks to the phone as well compared to the texture um, of the S24 Ultra which is matte. Um, it doesn't really leave any like fingerprint or like adhesives. So the next thing that we have to talk about is the stylus. So the stylus on the S24 Ultra is just a little bit protruding compared to the S23 Ultra. And actually guys, when I first unboxed my phone, the stylus was detached already from the phone. So just be mindful about that. Be careful because um, with just a little bit of like a press on the stylus on the S24 Ultra, it can easily be detached already from the phone. So compared to the stylus on the S23 Ultra, this one doesn't really stick out, so it's quite good. Um, the only problem I have with this one is the smell. So it smells like a burning plastic and it doesn't really color match with the phone. So the stylus on the S23 Ultra only has a black color and as what I've said earlier, it has a very strong smell, like a burning plastic. I thought it was only me who has that problem, but then when I search online, it's a lot of people complaining about that. So now let's try and um, see and smell as well the stylus on the S24 Ultra. So the stylus on the S24 Ultra color match the frame of the phone. So in this case, since I have the natural titanium, um, the stylus comes with the phone is in gray color. And this one still has a smell, but it's not as strong as the S23 Ultra. It smells still like a burning plastic, but it's not really that strong though. I think the S23 Ultra is still worse. Sorry. So the next thing we have to talk about is the SIM tray. So both the S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra are capable of having two physical SIM cards and um, an eSIM. So I thought before the S23 Ultra is only capable of one physical SIM card and an eSIM, but I was wrong. So I just learned about this one when I was like filming this video that Two phones actually comes with two physical SIM card and an eSIM, so it's good if you have multiple numbers. 
So now let's talk about the cases. So some of you guys have asked me if the S23 Ultra cases would fit into um, the S24 Ultra and then vice versa. So we'll find out. I have two silicon cases here, one from Samsung and the other one from Ringke. So if you guys wanted to watch my review and unboxing of that one, I'll be leaving the link down below. But anyways, um, let's try on our Ringke case, which is for the S24 Ultra. Let's try it on to my S23 Ultra. So I've tried to fit in the S23 Ultra to my S24 Ultra's case, but apparently it doesn't really fit in at all. It seems like the S23 Ultra is a little bit longer for the case, so no matter which side I put on the case, it still doesn't like um, fit in. So now let's try the S23 Ultra's case, if it will fit into our S24 Ultra. So the S23 Ultra's case also won't fit the S24 Ultra, so um, no matter which side I put on the phone, it still won't work. And this time the problem is that the S24 Ultra is a little bit wider for the case. So to answer your questions, um, the phone case for S23 Ultra won't fit in the S24 Ultra. So now let's talk about the display. Um, the S24 Ultra comes with anti-reflective and you can see a little bit of difference when it comes to reflections. But when it comes to screen display, I would say that I love the curve or the edge display on the S23 Ultra more than the flat screen on the S24 Ultra. I mean, a lot of people doesn't really like it, but I find it very elegant and it looks so expensive to have the curved display on the S23 Ultra. While on the other hand, the S24 Ultra has a flat screen display, which is also quite good, especially for people who love to use screen protectors, because then it's a lot easier to apply screen protectors as well as skins on the phone. But if I were to pick, I would still pick the edge or the curved display on the S23 Ultra. But both phones are really good when it comes to like screen displays, so no matter which phone you'll be getting, you won't regret it for sure. So right now I'm gonna be comparing two screens, so I don't have any like filters or anything on the video. You can see that the S23 Ultra is a little bit vibrant in colors, but um, the S24 Ultra is a little bit brighter than the S23 Ultra. So by the way guys, both phones are on 100% brightness, but you can still notice or see that the S24 Ultra is a little brighter than the S23 Ultra. And you can see the ocean at the back, it's more um, bluer on the S23 Ultra. So the colors on the S23 Ultra is a little bit saturated compared to the S24 Ultra, but the S24 Ultra is a little bit brighter, like you can really see it on this picture. Um, you can see the sky or the pink color of the house, totally different. Even on this picture, the white is whiter on the S24 Ultra, but the blue is bluer on the S23 Ultra. On this picture as well, you can see, you can really see clearly the difference between the pink color or pink background of the two phones. I like the pink background on the S24 Ultra better than the overly saturated pink background on the S23 Ultra. But after the update, you can now change the vivid color or the display on your S24 Ultra.
So now let's talk about the camera. I think this is the best part that I wanted to share because I'm also very amazed with um, the outcome that I did. So I took a series of pictures outside and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. But before that, let's just take a look on the camera part of the phone. So if you notice, the S24 Ultra's camera is just really way too protruding compared to the S23 Ultra. But what matters most is the quality of the pictures taken from the phone. So for the first picture, I can say that the one from the S24 Ultra is a little brighter and more saturated in color compared to the one from the S23 Ultra, which is a little bit sharper but more um, contrasted and you can see more shadow on, on the picture. So on the next picture, I would say that I like it better with the one on S23 Ultra because if you notice guys, the brown chair on the bike looks browner than the one from the S24 Ultra and I can say that the one from the S23 Ultra is a little bit more saturated as well and more contrasted, um, there's more shadow on it, the black is black and while the other one, a black color on the wheels on the bike is a little bit lighter than how it should be. Um, if you notice, the whole picture as well on the S24 Ultra is a little bit lesser um, contrast and lesser shadow. So for the next one here, I definitely want the one from the S23 Ultra. Because if you notice the sky guys, it's bluer on the S23 Ultra. The snow is whiter. Um, you can see the yellow color and the red color better on the S23 Ultra when it comes to the apartment part. And the glass window on the S23 Ultra is also clearer. So the entire picture is sharper than the one taken from the S24 Ultra. So on this picture, it really shows that the S23 Ultra is a lot more saturated compared to the S24 Ultra because notice the blue color of the sky, it's a lot bluer on the S23 Ultra. But I can't really say much about this picture because both phones really took a good picture on this one. But the thing is, the S24 Ultra is lesser contrast, lesser shadow, but um, brighter than the S23 Ultra. Though the overall of the picture, I think the S23 Ultra is a little bit more sharper compared to the S24 Ultra. So on this picture guys, I will definitely pick the one from the S23 Ultra because if you notice the road part on the S23 Ultra, it looks way sharper. It has more contrast, more shadows compared to the one from the S24 Ultra. And if you look at the apartment part, the yellow color is richer. It's more vibrant compared to the lighter color on the S24 Ultra, which looks a little bit washed out for me. So I think I like it better with the S23 Ultra. It looks um, more sharper than how it is on the S24 Ultra. So for the next one, it's a picture of the moon and I think both did a good job on this one. I can see the moon clearly. It's just that they differ from how the color blue of the sky is. I can say that it's more vibrant, more saturated on the S23 Ultra and a little bit lighter on the S24 Ultra. But for me, they both did a great job on this one. So on this picture, this is quite far from where I was taking the picture, so I needed to use the zoom. Um, you can see the background, guys, where the garage is. You can see clearly the stone part better on the S23 Ultra than the one on the S24 Ultra. And I can also see a little bit of difference when it comes to the black color of the van. Because on the S23 Ultra, black seems black, while on the S24 Ultra, the black look a little bit of like a navy blue color or a darker navy blue color. So I think the S23 Ultra did it better. So on this picture guys, I'm using the 100 times zoom and I can say that the S23 Ultra is a lot better than the S24 Ultra. So the color on the S24 Ultra is really washed out. It's The picture is not sharp, the picture is not vibrant in color. I mean compared to the S23 Ultra, 
S23 Ultra really did it a lot better. Like 100% my vote would go for the S23 Ultra when it comes to this picture. So I know I have been picking the S23 Ultra, but on this picture, the S23 Ultra definitely did it a lot better again. So if you notice on the leaves part, it's a lot clearer on the S23 Ultra. And by the way, guys, this one is with a 30 times zoom. And if you notice on the back part where the posters are, it's a lot clearer and more readable on the S23 Ultra compared to the S24 Ultra. So on this picture, I think the S24 Ultra did it better since the picture looks sharper. If you notice on the stone part or the wall part, it's a lot sharper and clearer on the S24 Ultra compared to the one on the S23 Ultra. So on this part, I can say that both phones did a really great job. I mean, they're both saturated, they look so sharp. It's just that you can still see a little bit of difference, especially when it comes to the brightness of the photo. So on the S24 Ultra, it's a little bit brighter, though on the S23 Ultra, it looks a little bit more saturated, more contrast, and a little bit more shadow compared to the S24 Ultra, though both photos those looks really good so on this one both phones really did a great job as well they're both sharp the colors are nice even if this one is a hundred times zoom i can say that both phones really did a great job on capturing the subject and every details that the subject has even the wires the leaves on the bottom they're just both really looking nice so now let's move on to the pictures taken on the dark mode. So this one is from the S23 Ultra and I can say that when it comes to the dark mode, S23 Ultra has a little bit of a hard time. So this picture is really not sharp at all. There's a lot of light flares. The cars are a bit blurry compared to this one from the S24 Ultra. Um, there's really not much of any like light flares. You can see the trees so clearly it's very sharp the cars are really not blurry at all like it really looks a lot better than the s23 ultra so i would definitely pick this one than the one taken from the s23 ultra so this one is from the s23 ultra and i was trying to take a picture of the stars because it's really a lot of stars i don't know for some reason it really turned out so blurry it turned out so bad um, I have been trying it a couple of times, but I can't really get a really good picture. Um, it seems like the S23 Ultra has a hard time taking pictures when it is a little bit dark outside or dark in the place or in the room. Compared to the pictures taken on the S24 Ultra, it's always really good, really better, really sharper. And you can see some stars, though it's not that clear, but you can still see the stars at least compared to the one taken from the S23 Ultra. And what I like about this one is that the trees in the background is really very sharp. You can see it so clearly. You can see the cars clearly. This picture is really definitely a lot better than the S23 Ultra. So now let's move on to the moonshot. Um, this is everyone's like most favorite subject when it comes to taking pictures. So this one is the S23 Ultra and I can say that when it comes to the 30 times zoom and 100 times zoom, I would definitely pick the S23 Ultra. The pictures always turn out so sharp, really very, very clear and this one just shows that the S23 Ultra is really good when it comes to 30 times zoom or even with the 100 times zoom. So now let's move on to the one taken from the S24 Ultra. I mean, this picture is not bad as well, and this is taken with a 30 times zoom. So I can say that the moon is really clear, it's so sharp, you can see it um, clearly. I mean, this is not really a bad picture at all. But the only difference is that when you start using the 100 times zoom, so this one guys is the 100 times zoom of the S23 Ultra and you can see that it's still sharp. It took a really good picture and this time when I took this one the moon was really too yellow. It's really full 
and I think that's the reason why this picture turned out really very saturated. But overall, I think this picture is really very nice. And to think that this one was taken handheld, so this is really great. So this one is the 100 times zoom of the S24 Ultra. And I don't think this one is as sharp as like what the S23 Ultra have taken. So I think this one, I mean, it's not bad, but I think this is a little bit blurry compared to the S23 Ultra. So I think I would pick the one taken from the S23 Ultra when it comes to the 100 times zoom. So moving forward, let's now see which phone would turn on first than the other. So when I was doing this one, I was really amazed on how fast the S24 Ultra has turned on because if you notice guys, the S24 Ultra is already on while the S23 Ultra is still trying to turn on. So it's taking a long time and you can really see a huge difference when it comes to the speed. So now that it has turned on, I wanted to see it again if it's really going to be the same. So I'm going to be restarting the phone and we'll see if there's still a huge difference when it comes to rebooting or restarting the phone. So now let's restart. So yes, once again, the S24 Ultra has restarted way faster than the S23 Ultra. So until now, the S23 Ultra is still restarting. So yeah, there is a huge difference when it comes to the speed. So that's it guys for our comparison video today. If you think this video is helpful in some ways, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed on my channel, please do so. Click the subscribe button down below. And for you guys to be updated whenever I post a new one, please don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you all on my next one. Bye!